Hi guys and girls on YouTube, just a quick video here, um, I've got this tally, it's a Hitachi 50HK6100UB, uh, now this is quite a common fault on here, um, there's no cure for it apart from putting a new screen in because it's the screen that's faulty, uh, but I'll just show you how we diagnose the screen's faulty and uh, it might just save you buying a T-Con board and finding out that that's not your problem. Right, so I'm just going to switch to set on. If you look through that hole there, you'll see the backlight come on. That's it, the backlight's lit now. So if we lift it up, um, you can see we've just got a blank blue screen. There's no actual information on the screen itself, um, but the backlight is lit okay. Right, so on the TCOM board, you first need to locate this test point here, which is marked VGL, um, and there's another one there marked VG high. What we need to do is take a voltage measurement there while we turn on. Either one of them will do. Right, if you watch the meter. Do you see it flick over there and come back to zero? I'll just try and show you again because we've got uh, a reflection from somewhere. There you go, it flicks over and it goes back to zero. And we've, if we measure the other test point VGL, which should have about minus six volt on, you'll see that's also dead. Right, so now what we do is we take one of these off in turn and see if that brings your voltage back so we try that one first and then we measure them two test points again uh, with this disconnected uh, I've started with that one it doesn't matter whether you start with the left or the right um, because if the voltage comes back when we unplug one uh, there's a fault on either the right or the left side of the panel so I've got the left side off at the moment let's just uh, measure these test points again so vg high there and we've got about uh 25 volts now the vgl that's a negative uh, about minus six i'm not going to swap the meter leads over i'll just touch it on and you'll see it go uh negative there you go that's so that's going negative so now we know that the fault is on this side of the screen uh, now, while it could be um, a shorted ceramic decoupling capacitor on one of the supply rails, uh, in this model it's very unlikely, but I'll show you an easy way to determine whether it's a capacitor or it's the screen itself. Right, so if you look just above this chip here, we've got eight test points and they're marked CK. So there's CK2, CK4, um, CK6. Now, they actually go to both sides of the screen and they go to the first eight contacts there and on the other side of the screen they go to the first eight contacts this side um, now the way to determine whether it's the T-Con or the screen um, now we know it's on this side is to block off them first eight contacts with a piece of plastic tape and put this back in so let's just demonstrate that Right, now I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time, but you can see I've cut a little bit of plastic. We're going to slip that under there just to block off them first eight contacts and then put the ribbon cable back in. Right, so I've just held that little bit of plastic in with some masking tape uh, and that's blocked off them first eight contacts. Now I'm going to put this back in and we'll switch it on and have a look on the screen. Right, so I've just put the TV on the stand now, so I can hold the camera at the same time. Let's turn it around. Let's um, turn it around and turn it on. Right, there we go. Camera's running. On we go. Let's see what happens now. And you can see picture comes up, but if we look closely, oh, it's gone off now. Let's just put a menu on. Um, if we look closely, you'll find it's got all lines on it. Um, in fact, let's put it into the service mode and see how much use it's had. Right, 
Right, sorry about that, it didn't work because I have the wrong remote control. Um, right, here we go. So, yeah, that's in the service mode. And now you can see, if we look closely, you can see the lines on the screen. Um, let's have a look at the run time. 295, 263, divide that by 60 to give you minutes. Uh, and the set's had, uh, well, it's just short of um, 5,000 hours use, so uh, not a lot at all, really. Uh, but anyway, that is how, in fact, look at the manufacturing date there. 12th of November 2020, so it's not even that old. Um, anyway, that is how you diagnose whether it's a problem with the screen, um, and that should hopefully save you from buying a new TCOM board and, and finding it still doesn't work when you get the new board. Alright guys and girls on YouTube, many thanks for watching my channel and I'll catch you in the next video.